Yes, yes, my friends. We will reclaim our rightful place in the galaxy, yeah. I have a video due today. Hello everybody, this is John Brewer. This week I totally dropped the ball on getting my Space Engineers video done, so I'm posting my first playthrough of Homeworld Remastered. You're going to get a graphic demonstration of two things. One, that I have not played Homeworld in almost 10 years and I am not nearly as good at it as I remember myself to be. And two, this is why I don't do live commentary on my videos. And with that brief explanation of what you're about to see, I give you John Brewer, live and uncut. Hello, this is John Brewer. I'm here playing Homeworld Remastered. We're trying a little bit of a different format this week. Uh, Homeworld was one of my favorite games when it came out, what, 20 years ago now? Not quite. What, 1999? So 15 years ago now? 16 years? But I, uh, I've always really enjoyed this game. And I'm looking forward to uh, having a chance to play it again. Now, for the moment, I'm just working through the, uh, right, where's the, um, there we go, aggressive attacks. Right now, I'm just going through the tutorial, working out, uh, reacquiring, uh, reacquainting myself with the control systems here. I'm recording this live, so I'm going to stutter a lot more than I normally do in these videos. The, uh, the tutorial is actually a great time for me to go over some of the universe uh, content in this game. Holy shit, I'm bad at this. Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. Mothership. Now, one of my favorite things about the Homeworld universe is the history, the world that lies behind it. And one of the really interesting things about the start of this game is that Karak, that planet there, has a recorded history of something like 1,300 years of a civilization that lives at the poles of the planet. Because throughout the center is an impassable desert. It's extremely hostile to any life. Salvage Corvette complete. Salvage Corvette complete. And the, uh, the people who live there, the Kushan civilization, are the ones who just in the past few hundred years discovered not only are they not native to uh, this planet, Karak, but they are in fact... Uh, they are, in fact, from a planet much nearer the galactic core. Ready. Ready. Okay, let's see where this drone is. There we go. Now, the uh, folk in the galactic core uh, apparently came out here and settled on this piss-poor world. <laughs> this terrible, terrible planet. And nobody seems to know why. Now, the interesting thing about the uh, Kushan is that they have this long cultural and religious history that's making a big difference to them. Oh, hold on, there it is. 
Okay, I'm slowly remembering the uh, appropriate commands here. Now, they have a long and glorious history of, uh, well, religious strife and uh, a time of reason, which was the, the rise of uh, scientific powers that be on the planet sometime in the last, I think, 500 years. I think around the year 800 in their calendar was the beginning of the time of reason. And that's the, uh, that's the period when they really begin developing what we would think of as modern technology. They develop gunpowder around that time. And now it's 500 years later and they're about to set out on their first interstellar trip. Suffice it to say, they're beating humanity by a fair margin here <laughs> in terms of development time. I mean, they've only have written records going back 1300 years. I think the year is 1302 in their calendar when the game begins. Now, it's possible their years are a couple times longer than ours, which actually wouldn't be that surprising. Actually, can we see their star? Yeah, okay, there it is. So, okay, we're actually sunward, which I guess makes sense, since we can see the surface of the planet there. Okay, and I think that I've accomplished whatever that uh, salvage corvette wanted me to do. Or what fleet command wanted me to do with that salvage corvette. So I guess I'm going to be getting another command in the next few minutes. Anyways, the Kushan have put pretty much the entire resources of their world into building this, the mothership. Uh, it's, let's see, I think in the technical briefing they said that this scaffolding was something like 25 kilometers long. And the mothership is about the same size. So yeah, that's... That's going to be, you know, probably 20, 25 kilometers from top to bottom there. Tremendous, tremendous use of resources. Way, 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 way past anything that uh, humans have today. And it is integrated with their hyperspace core. Now, let's see, was I supposed to be doing something else? Harvest asteroids. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should be paying more attention to what I'm doing here. Standing by. So let's see. Yes, the Kushan. So the Kushan are divided into basically family groups called Kith. Uh, you can kind of think of these as roughly equivalent to noble houses uh, in our history, or in Western history, I guess I should say. They have a lot of uh, influence where they have a core family, a, a leading family called the Kith Sa. Uh, who leads the kith, and then they have various secondary and tertiary and lesser families uh, underneath them. And those form the sort of atomic political, or I shouldn't say atomic, I guess the, the, the basic political units that make up the society on Karak. Uh, they have a governing body called the, the Amid, the meet their capital of Tyr, and uh, basically they are, are doing their best to be a industrial, just now spacefaring civilization. Now, their first brush with the truth of their reality was during the beginning of their Age of Reason. It's like something like, uh, what, 500 years? Around the time of... The Time of Reason begins around 800, 820 on their calendar. And they begin to notice things about themselves and about Carrick. And about Carrick's ecosystem and ecology. And one of the things that they notice is they're not genetically related to almost anything on the planet. Which is what originally, besides rumor and legend from the time before they have their written history... Uh, leads them to believe that they're not native to this world. Now that causes some contention in the societal order of things on the uh, on Karak, and it isn't until they first achieve spaceflight 
about 200 years later, in about the year 1000, that they start discovering like this debris ring of advanced composite materials orbiting their planet. And that makes it abundantly clear that some advanced civilization was orbiting their planet at some point in the past and creating all of this really neat stuff. So they go out and they begin searching the rest of the solar system for other evidence of these advanced civilizations. And they create these deep scanning radar satellites to go look for other debris fields uh, around the Karak star system. They don't actually find anything, but what they do find is they get a return from Karak itself. And what they find in the deserts of Karak, in this equatorial region of the planet, is the ancient city of Kartova. Now, Kartova is the is, is spoken of in their legends. It is the first city built on the surface of Karak by the Kushan civilization. It's considered a huge archaeological coup, but what's really interesting about it is when they dig out the Kartoba and they start scanning it, they start finding out all sorts of things about how it came to be there and how long it's been there and whatnot. You know what, I should probably be building more of these resource collectors, because this is going to take forever if I have to mine this entire asteroid section here. Okay, so they say that uh, the uh, Kartova is this ancient city, but at the center of it is the hulk of an ancient starship. And suddenly all of the pieces start coming together. They realize, oh, hey, we came here on this starship. Uh, it, it crashed or landed or otherwise set down here. It probably didn't mean to set down where it did because where it sat down is completely uninhabitable. They find the power systems from it. They find the city that was built out around the crash site. And they find the fusion plant that's been shut down for nobody knows how long. And presumably when the f ship's fusion plant went offline, they were no longer able to support a population in that city, and that's when the Kushan first moved to the North Pole. And that was some point in antiquity, sometime before their calendar system starts. They pull apart the ship, they find all kinds of archaeological hints and clues about their early civilization, they find the crests of some of their kiths, uh, like Kith's jet, who comes up significantly uh, in the mythos. And then they find the guide stone. The guide stone is this little hunk of rock that's smooth on one side and traced in it is a map of the galaxy. And on the map of the galaxy they have a dot on the edge of the galaxy with coordinates that appear to be Karak, they have a line, and they have a dot on the other end of the line that's near the galactic core that's marked with the word Hegara. And Hegara, in the ancient tongue of the Kushan, means home. So they put two and two together, they figure out, hey, not only are we not from Karak, but our homeworld is way out in the core of the galaxy. So, after some debate, I think it takes them about four years to decide what to do with this information. And in 1159, they decide that they're going to build a massive, massive, massive colony ship uh, and deep space range vessel and research lab and factory complex to go out and find... The, this homeworld and to return their people to it. Oh, hey, these don't disappear when they're argued out. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's see, was there something else I was supposed to be doing? Construct a research ship. Okay, do I still have enough resources to do that? 
Or did I... Okay, yeah, I kind of boned my... Uh, no, no, I didn't. I, I do have enough resources. Okay. Anyways, so yes, they go off, they build this massive colony slash research slash factory ship that is known as the mothership. And that's our command ship here. Confirmed. And today is the day she launches. And that brings us up to the current mission, which is us flying around with these various resource extractors and salvage corvettes, and I guess these are scouts here. Yep, yep, those are scouts. And we are just getting ready to test out this hyperdrive. Oh yes, that's the other thing that they find in the wreck of the Kartova, is a solid state hyperdrive module. Uh, which is a huge deal. It's uh, it, it's actually a much, much bigger deal than even the Kushan realize it is. But that'll come up more in the second game. Hyperspace module fully charged. I'm ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. Okay. Well, I like that. One button hyperdrive. Okay, and when I order the hyperdrive, all of the ships that I have come running back to the farm. Because they all know that they're going to have to be docked up in order to go with the ship. When I get capital ships later, they'll actually have their own little sub hyperdrive. Actually, I think that the uh, the science ship here also will hyperdrive itself. It won't even try to uh, it won't even try to dock with the mothership. Just the resourcers and the fighters and the salvage corvette will. I have this quick dock button, which I can instantly dock everything. Uh, I feel like there should be a jump and leave everybody who's not on board behind button. But I don't see it. Oh, no, I guess the uh, research ship here is indeed going to go running into the mothership as well. Yep, yep, it is. And I actually don't have enough resources to build that interceptor because I spent all of my money on more resources. Which I'm sure will pay off at some point in the future. But Anyways, this is just a hyperdrive test. Nothing's going to go wrong. We don't have to build any military forces because we're jumping out into the empty Kushan star system and everything will be fine. Hey, it worked! 